Dawn raid of uh, Paul Murphy. Uh, well, what did you think, Olivia? Was it cack handed? Um, no, I mean, to be honest, I don't uh, know enough about the justice system to know wh how the guards co decide to do it in the morning. But the reality is that, you know, people say, you know, he'll never end up in prison. But the reality is a crime was committed. Um, an alleged crime, I suppose I shouldn't say, I shouldn't be so, so firm, but from what we saw on the television, um, people were stopped from moving, people were terrorised in their cars, uh, and I think a lesson has to be, um, a message has to be sent out that this kind of behaviour is not acceptable. But, but and you know, if, if you can't take I mean, the heat, to get out of the kitchen, this is the message. Like, people sorry, are saying, sorry, it's, if it was my mother, if it was my sister, if it was my daughter, if it was my aunt, females locked in the car, people on the car for two hours, you would be terrified. However, they also say, if you're a politician and yeah. you get to be tarnished, uh, you've got to be made yeah. a star. Well, the next stuff. point Why? I was going to make that this is not just because she's a politician. This is also about the workers of Irish Water who are being terrorised. It's about the Gardaí who are being terrorised and putting up with awful abuse. And that is that is the ongoing problem that I think the guards are more concerned about. And I think it has to be dealt with. And I think anyone who's defending the arrests or saying it's a terrible thing... It is a terrible thing that children are being arrested, but it is worse thing that uh, politicians are leading those children out into uh, protesting Michael, in, look, in violent situations. Look, the intimidation absolutely has to be dealt with. I mean, the, the, what's going on, the uh, Irish water workers, politicians, and no politician signs up for a lifetime of abuse, oh. nor should um, they get and it. And why should but, we accept but, that? But the early morning arrest of, you yeah. know, Paul, hey, and hey, the, the spectacle of if that. If I'm going to arrest a number of people and I want to question them separately, which they would do in the case of an armed robbery, for instance, yeah. you know, pick up all the suspects, take them to different stations so there can be no orchestrating of statements and agreed in advance. Um, that's a, a common technique by the guards. Second thing is, when are you likely to find everyone at home? Before they get out of bed, end of story. So that's a guard the technique. Whether they were wise to use it in this case, it, it's, 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 it's a guard the technique. And I think in other cases, uh, yeah, there's a lot of relevance, a lot of importance to that. These people have been, uh, you know, friends and together and meeting each other for weeks since the incident. So if they wanted to cook together statements, they could have done that uh, by now. I think, particularly when you're dealing with an Oireachtas member, I think a guard superintendent should have called. Should have said, we want to talk to you about this? Could you come at 11 o'clock today? We've seen this in the past, particularly dealing with white collar crime yeah. when you hear, you know, a man was arrested at the Garda station today by appointment. And I think particularly when we're dealing with an Oireachtas member, we, we could have done so that. So if a number of white-collar criminals are, are n known to be going to go in for these interviews, if they want I to... I think the difference is a white-collar crime is not an act of violence. It is a crime, but it's not an act of violence. These were acts of violence and terrorism. Well, I don't know if they were acts of terrorism. Well, people were terrorised. Well, I, I, I think 